The fall from grace for a cycling champion, Lance Armstrong, the cancer survivor who gave America so much to cheer about. Seven times he seemed to do the impossible at the Tour de France and then the doping scandal. And now his medals, his glory, his future in question. Here's ABC's Neil Karlinski. In the span of just 24 hours, Lance Armstrong has gone from champion to disgrace. Headlines around the world were quick to tear into the seven-time Tour de France winner. The U.S. Anti-Doping Agency said today it's official. Armstrong is banned for life and disqualified of all competitive results since August 1998. All of it, they say, because he used prohibited substances including EPO, blood transfusions, testosterone, corticosteroids, and masking agents. He has been, without doubt, the finest rider in this race. His story the is the stuff of legends. He beat cancer, became the greatest rider of the world's hardest race, and turned his name into a brand. What am I on? I'm on my bike. But if Armstrong didn't win those seven tours, figuring out who did won't be easy. With the exception of a single man, the top podium positions, 21 riders in seven years, are filled with racers implicated in doping scandals. In nearly every single case, the second, the runner-up has also has, you know, been implicated in doping at some point. Armstrong still maintains his innocence and says in a statement, Enough is enough. Today I turn the page. I will no longer address this issue, regardless of the circumstances. His Livestrong Cancer Foundation sold more than a hundred million of those famous yellow wristbands, and he's estimated to have earned ten million dollars a year at times during his storied career. Today, Nike is sticking with him, even though USADA says he's no longer a Tour de France winner, just another drug cheat who finally got caught. Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.